10 ways a Sigma male grabs people's attention. Look, if you only had one shot or one chance to seize everything you've ever wanted in a single moment, would you seize it or let it slip? Eminem. A Sigma male first captures and then maintains the attention of his listeners. Check out these easy ways for a Sigma male to do both. 10 ways a Sigma male draw attention. There are two types of attention in the mind of a Sigma male, neck down and neck up. When a listener has to strain his or her neck to pay attention, this is referred to as neck up attention. Neck down attention occurs when the listener's attention is drawn to the speaker and they cannot help but pay attention. Before we continue, please subscribe to the Spiffy TV channel. We appreciate your assistance. Please keep in mind that in our language, English, attention is paid because it is a valuable currency. When listeners pay attention, they are bestowing the world's most valuable currency on a Sigma male. Here are 10 techniques that will get a Sigma male more attention without jeopardizing his professional credibility. Number 1. A Sigma male always begins with the unexpected. A Sigma male begins with a bang rather than a whimper. Smokers prefer matches that light on the first strike, while listeners prefer presentations that pique their interest from the first sentence. As an example, we stand today at a battleground that saw and felt the worst of war 40 years ago. Ronald Reagan, President. I stand before you today as the representative of a bereaved family, a country in mourning, and a world in shock. Earl Spencer, Lady Diana's brother. Each of these opening lines entices listeners to lean in, lend an ear, and wonder where the speaker will lead them. They dive right into the topic, creating suspense, intrigue, and curiosity. They have neck down attention. Number 2. A male Sigma makes it all about them. With his magnetic opening, a Sigma male now captures the attention of the listeners and makes the story about them. Boost his you to me ratio. A Sigma male discuss their objectives, aspirations, and concerns. Tickling and teasing Cicero The test of a speaker's impact and technique is tickling and soothing anxieties. He meant that if he reminds an audience of a felt need, a pain point, or a threat to their well-being, he can capture their attention. Number 3. A Sigma male keeps it concrete at first. A Sigma male displays a prop. He employs sensory stimulating language. A Sigma male does not overwhelm the audience with abstract reasoning, or academic concepts right away. He keep his intelligence hidden at first rather than flaunt it. Because we are hardwired to absorb information through storytelling, storytelling is a powerful way to get into a topic. Sigma males tell good stories and command neck down attention. On a boat on the Hudson River, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. speak about conservation. He started by pointing south. If you look in that direction, he said, we will see the channel, that has been the world's largest spawning ground for sturgeon for millions of years. Of course, when I looked where he was pointing, all I saw was grey polluted water with no sign of a sturgeon, but I had a vision of millions of large fish teeming so densely on the river's surface that I could have walked across their backs to New Jersey. Number 4. A male sigma keeps things moving. Not just in terms of speed, but also of development. A Sigma male ensures that each new piece of information he provides builds on what has come before. We lose interest in movies when nothing happens, or in novels when the author stops for two pages to describe a bucolic setting. Our brains are telling us, I'm looking for action. Suspense and drama. The same is true for male Sigma listeners. They are time constrained, content driven, and results driven. Consider the distinction between a river and a canal. A canal moves slowly, whereas a river is dynamic and ever-changing. Make your presentations like rivers, not canals, to satisfy your listeners' insatiable desire for variety. 
A Sigma mail ensures that there is always something going on, especially when delivering webinars to an audience that is likely to be highly distracted. Number 5 A Sigma mail gets straight to the point. One of the audience's favorite parts is quickly figuring out what a Sigma male is saying. They resent him for depriving them of this pleasure. Number 6. A Sigma male elicits emotion. Humor is a natural persuader. It gives the speaker an unfair advantage because it alters the chemistry of the room and everyone present's brain. If he isn't a comedian, a Sigma male won't try to tell jokes. He simply allows his natural sense of humor to be present at the moment, and when something occurs to him, he expresses it. A Sigma male confessing something personal about himself can make the audience feel more connected to him. A senior colleague of mine admitted to her colleagues at a major company meeting that she had worked as a bartender, a taxi driver, and a short order cook to pay for her college tuition. The audience was amazed and thrilled as she drove home her point that if we have the will to do whatever it takes, we can all do more than we realize. Acting out of character, she says, is one definition of bravery. Number 7. A Sigma male keeps things interesting. According to social scientists, an interactive audience is more easily persuaded than a passive one. In many cases, the give and take between speaker and audience breaks through listeners' reluctance and reserve, encouraging them to engage with the speaker and participate in the proceedings. We see this in certain churches that follow the call and response worship tradition. We see it in schools and universities, where an effective teacher can get monosyllabic students to open up and participate by asking questions. Number 8. A Sigma male creates eye-catching headlines. A Sigma male creates headlines for his slides to express his point of view. The audience will grasp the big idea, and then scan the body of the slide for evidence to back up his point. For example, we can dominate the market as a more effective headline than market share. It's better because it implies action, is jam-packed with intellectual and emotional content and captures the physicality of neck-down attention far more than the inert phrase market share. Number 9 A Sigma Male Keeps It Short and Sweet A Sigma Male will stop speaking before he starts listening. What the mind cannot comprehend the body cannot bear. Number 10. Being a Sigma male. The presence of a Sigma male alone on any stage, whether it's the floor of a small meeting room or the elevated platform of a vast ballroom, is powerful. He immediately draws attention from the neck down. Listeners read everything a Sigma male does, including his face, in a rhythm, posture, voice, and stance. The human mind ascribes moral intention to physical cues with a smidgen of emotional expression. The issue is that the mind does this in a matter of seconds, and a Sigma male must speak for much longer than that. Furthermore, he may be nervous and not at his best, so his technical skill at capturing and holding attention may be the difference between success and failure. Every business presentation will have moments when the audience will need to work hard and pay attention to understand the material. I'm suggesting that when your audience finds your content fascinating, your results and reputation will improve. Can you relate to anything on this list? We'd love to hear what you think. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe to help Spiffy TV grow. We appreciate your help.